Welcome, welcome, Matt is back again. This week I'm doing a tour from Saltalukta along the King's Trail to the south. The weather is promised snow and not the best weather, some wind, but we will see. Let's roll the intro. We are Stina and Matti. We run a lifestyle company in the north of Swedish Lapland. For living, we work as nature guys and dog mushers. This is our life, our dream and our home. You're welcome to follow us on the journey. This here again. This week I'm doing a tour we call To the Gate of Sarek. Our longer tour always starts and ends in a comfortable place like Saltolukta or in Jokmok or something like that. Yesterday the people, the four clients, Ra Rachel, Bob, Judith and Martin. I'm so crappy with names, it's embarrassing. They arrived at Saltalukta and we had the dinner together. Actually Rachel and Bob arrived some days before. Rachel, right? I ah, fuck, I had to check that. I'm so crappy with names. I asked her two times already. Anyway, we had a nice dinner, arrival dinner. Beach. I got the question, what is coffee cheese? <laughs> coffee cheese? <laughs> Today we are dressed, we have made the sled ready and now we're heading south along the King's Trail towards CTR cabin. It's a quite short day today, only 20 kilometer. Actually, I find some friends up here in the mountain. Now we must go and see what they are doing. So, it is Alex and Johan and Christer. We must film them and see what they are doing. Hello Alex, what are you doing? Is Christian knowing what you're doing down there? Yes. <laughs> he said to me, dig a hole. Dig a hole for you to bury. <laughs> it's very deep. Jo, framåt är det Jag tror att vi får upp den här. Bra i skivorna. Vi trampar först till. <laughs> de har ju koll. Det är 24. De, de vet precis vad de gör de här. Prova då. Jag kan inte. Jag kan inte. Fast ni vill ha hundra. Det är ju bättre att du ska kutta bara det. was our colleagues from Jokmok, Laponia Adventure. They actually get stuck with the snowmobile because they tried to avoid the dogs.
right now it has started snowing a lot and up from the mountain I can hear the wind so it's uh, drifting snow that's probably cover the trails uh, see tomorrow what the weather is like it's not snowstorm right now but but the wind will come down tonight by looking at the weather forecast and uh, I think we will quite have quite heavy trail tomorrow but it's today it will snow a little bit tomorrow and then it will will, will be good weather again hopefully Now I check the dog and it's time to go back into the cabin. Good night. We, we had a kind of oops, snowy night and it's coming some centimeters snow and all the con contours you can't really see where the trail goes <laughs> make it a little bit difficult so suddenly the sled falling into the deep snow uh, it's a lot of kicking just a few kilometers and already feel that it's a little bit slow we have almost 40k today to do 40 kilometer you can make a shortcut but it's a hell of a downhill on the other side and I don't do that uh, but 40k have a snow condition and we the first day so we started just before 11 o'clock just after uh, quite late start <laughs> no stress stress takes you nowhere in the bush as they say <laughs> but it will be a long day for us today I don't really know when we will reach Akse cabin. Uh, normally it's faster than this. Ah, we have to go and see what's happened. It could be that we had to turn around. I check the clock and see when, how far we have reached at a certain point. Then we must make a decision. Continue or going back we will see
awesome. Was it good? It's awesome. Is it bacon? The great bacon. We have the great Love bacon. Love bacon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, du. Doch Hunger, ha? Bacon, bacon. Bin ich picky? The first part of this day we have been traveling from sea to your cabin down along sea to river sea to river valley after that we had lunch down in the pine forest and now we reach the lower part of Rapa Valley actually so now we are on our way into Akse cabin the dogs start getting a little bit slower. It's actually more or less 40 kilometers away, so it's not strange. And it's heavy for them. We still a lot of food in the sleds, dog food and so on. But they're doing a good job. A lot of kicking in workouts for us. Very happy group in the hole. Yeah. <laughs> Just waiting for the bacon. Now we had lunch, fire and bacon and all that things. Nice coffee, of course. And we continue now towards Porto Cabin. It started snowing again. It should stop snowing now. I don't know if we need more snow. Thank you. 
chili. Last evening I called back to Stina, checked so everything is okay and she said that one or two clients on the next tour are ill so they will not come and uh, out there in the world it seems like it's crazy with this coronavirus right now. Schools and flights are cancelled, meetings are cancelled in Denmark. Uh, the flight between Europe and US, they try to shut it down. I have no idea what this is going on. <coughs> I have I have my cough from the cold air all the time, so Let's see what happened. I'm more worried about the reaction from people. It's like they turn into some panic. I don't know. Here we had some blue sky, but now the mountain and the blue sky is gone. Nice sunny <laughs> fire place down here. It's much awesome. nicer in the hole. Much yeah. nicer in the hole. <laughs> you can still see four signs. It can get much worse. Uh, you see four signs. <laughs> <laughs> now it's snowing, is it? And blowing. <laughs> Over there you have, uh, on the left side, Jackali Mountain. And then in the middle is not much like a small cube in the middle of the valley. Uh, I was camping on top of that last autumn in September during one of the moose safari we have done. And then on the right side we have Skerfe. And I was on Skerfe in June and I, this summer and in August and so on and you can find on YouTube another film from that hiking tour one of the earlier our films the dogs are doing fine but my young ones Hasse and Happy they have uh, some problem they use too much energy in the beginning of the day so they work as yeah in the morning and then after a while, they get more and more tired. So... They still, they never stop working, but... I really feel that I lose power in the team during the day.
I just need the uphill from Akte. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's so beautiful up here. Oof. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is so bad. This is the last day when I'm 40. Tomorrow I'm 50. In the end of a tour like this, I'm always a little bit worried that some heavy snowstorm or snowfall will stop us from reaching the final point. When we arrive to Saltolukta Mountain Lodge, we get some heavy winds coming over the mountains and some heavy snowfall, but we succeed to come here. That was nice. I also want to say thank you to Rachel and Bob, Judith and Martin for following on this tour. It was super nice to meet you and I really hope I will see you again out here. And for all of you who have watched this video, thank you for watching and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I think that's all from me today. Ciao!